fun in the 80s. But in the 90s, they want to get even. At least that's what the pop charts would have you believe. These days, the artists and their hits are mostly women with an attitude. And their message is, don't mess with me. <gasps> I think with the success of somebody like Alanis Morissette, there's a great deal of interest in this kind of artist because she was enormously successful. I think some people are hoping to uh, recreate that success with others. And so the women and the hits just keep on coming, not only by established artists like Sheryl Crow, Sarah McLachlan, and Tori Amos, but new names like Shirley Manson of Garbage, Gwen Stefani of No Doubt, and Fiona Apple. Do I think this is a fad? No way. I think it's going to be a, a, a nice test period to see, you know, who rises to the top. But you've got Alanis Morissette setting the standards for the females, so, I mean, how can they lose? Move on to the next one. We'll see you like that. Trying to meet those standards is up-and-comer Patty Rothberg, who was discovered singing in the New York subways. She now lives in a kind of crash pad with her manager and other musicians, all of them are hoping to make it big. Your lyrics are striking such a chord. How would you describe them? Just very real, very honest, and very to the point. I don't screw around. Rothberg admits she may be part of the fad, but at the same time, she's gotten raves for her debut album, Between the One and the Nine. Makes me want to make you near me. Rothberg was recently part of New York's annual Battle of the Bands at Madison Square Garden. Billed as Girls Rule the Yule, it was the first time ever all 10 acts featured female performers. It was more than anybody could have expected as far as a level of excitement and um, just bonding. It was like a chick bonding event. It was, it was really wonderful. Everyone's pushing for the, you know, the one homecoming queen or whatever, but I don't believe in that. I think that there's room enough in the world for everybody. You just gotta like keep plugging away and and making good music, and that's the most important thing. 